All right, hello everyone and welcome to Symbiote Spider-Man is busted. Take a look at this deck. Only three cards in this deck matter. That is Symbiote Spider-Man right here, Black Panther right here, Arnim Zola right here. Do you want a Symbiote Spider-Man that has 56 power and gets copied to two other locations? Then you're gonna want these three cards. Everything else here is just kind of whatever. Crystal's there to try and draw this better. Cosmo, like, I have some stuff here to try and inhibit what the other player is doing, because when you're trying to do your own combo, you want to probably try and stop the other combo that the other person's doing. Um, and then I just got Nebula and Silver Sable today, so I wanted to just give them a shot. Uh, dude, let me get into a game. Let's find a game where this works. I just had a game where it worked. It was insane. It's not without its counterplay, but, like, you just gotta see this in action. So let's, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna use Silver Sable. Ooh, perfect place for Silver Sable to be. Plus two power for you. If you don't know what she does, on reveal, steal two power from the top card of your opponent's deck. It's like a reverse America Chavez. And then you're a 1-5, and then whatever he just drew is worse. So that's cool. So I would, I guess, put Crystal here on the left. These are not great. Actually, the straight... No, it actually, it still can work if I put everything in Dark Dimension. Which might actually be good, because it means he won't know what I'm doing. Uh, the problem, though, is that I didn't get freaking Symbiote Spider-Man. All right, next duel. All right, we still won that duel, but we didn't get to do the cool stuff, so let's uh, let's find another one. On reveal effects happen twice. Okay, this is the dream location, so the fact that you're not going to give me my combo in this duel is extremely sad. I'm going to need you to either draw me Symbiote Spider-Man or Crystal on the next turn, or else we're dead in the water. I mean, I guess we could still get... Oh, but you moved Silver Sable, so it's not even going to work now. At least not in that location. You're a bastard. You know what? Just for that, you don't get any on-reveal effects anymore. Yeah, no, it's, uh, they're, they're going to be rude. All right, can we get a duel where I draw the three cards that I need? Oh, there's one. Symbio Spider-Man, please. Oh my god, do it. Uh, he Baron Mordo'd my symbiote Spider-Man, dude. What is the curse of recording happening going on right now? You've got to be kidding my ass. That's a retreat. Did everybody in the game get the memo that symbiote Spider-Man needs to be stopped? Because <laughs> I thought I was the first one to discover this particular combo. All right, so the thing with that is that you once again just ruined my strat. They're not even doing it on purpose. That's what is... That's what's really bugging me right now. All right, we got Symbiote Spider-Man right out of the gate. That's something. I don't know where to put this, but I know it can't go on the left. We'll probably do our Symbiote combo on the left, since it starts at turn four anyway. Okay, we have Symbiote Spider-Man, Black Panther. This is not the type of deck that fills a location. Do you get... All right, we're playing against a bot, so there's no way that this isn't going to work. You put Sunspot on Murder World, unless you're about to throw armor down there. All right, well done. Nice cell phone on the left side there. I'm just going to chimichanga you over here. Let's not complicate this trap before we've even demonstrated it. So this is what we do now. In order for this to work, you press and hold to activate the ability on Symbiote Spider-Man. It's the new type of thing that they just unveiled here. So what you first do is you put Black Panther down, and then you hold to activate the ability. So that is how that works. And then next turn, we really hope that we draw Arnim Zola, or this is stupid. And I'm only going to win this left side. And then Symbiote Spider-Man merges with Black Panther and reactivates its ability to become a 28 power card. We got Arnim Zola, dude. This is the run. Eat something. Eat a chimichanga, dude. Would you like a 56 power Symbiote Spider-Man? Oh, well, not in the middle because I put Cosmo there. I guess that's a, a, down a drawback of Cosmo. Maybe I should take him out of my deck. But I mean... 28 power getting copied somewhere is usually still good enough, man. So I feel like that's totally fine. But look what's possible. And it only took four duels of bloopers to make it happen. I'm sure we're only scratching the surface with the amount of stuff that you can do with Symbiote Spider-Man. But I feel like the Black Panther thing is great. It does require... Now, this is how you foil it. If you want... If you 
want to be like, oh, if I run into this, what do I do? Well, A, you can Shang-Chi the Spider-Man as soon as Black Panther gets absorbed into it, if that's what you think is going to happen. Uh, you can also clutter the field that the Spider-Man is going to be in, if you think that's what's going to happen. Like, if you put a Green Goblin on that side so that Arnim Zola can't do anything. It's basically just Arnim Zola anti-tech also works against Symbio Spider-Man. And generally, a good way to cancel out Symbi- and I'm just spitballing here. Generally, a good anti-tech for Symbio Spider-Man, I imagine, would be Debris. Like, putting anything that's low cost on your opponent's field that they don't want there is going to ruin Symbio Spider-Man. If you put a rock on their side of the field, if you put a Venom's Bite from a Black Widow that's gonna do something, the White Widow thing is gonna do something. Just anything you can do to make it so that Symbio Spider-Man's location is not clear, uh, that's going to ruin his whole day. The Black Panther thing was just the first thing that I thought of, and then I tested it out. I was like, holy shit, this works it's so good when it does work. This season is crazy. Uh, it's got Symbio Spider-Man, which is cool, and then the Spotlight Cache has all these really cool cards in it. It's so nice. You've got Silver Sable, which we've used. Just like an interesting, cool one cost. You know, it doesn't break the game or anything, but it's nice. I like her. I like her. I like this variant. I want to get this variant, dude. The glow up is insane. There's so many hot chicks in this game now. On In particular this week, because you got Silver Sable. You got Mockingbird also in the spotlight cache. Then you come over to the shop. You got Silk. If you want to spend $100 for some ungodly reason on a bundle that doesn't even have credits in it. And then you also have the bundle that I did actually buy, which is the Ghost Spider bundle. This was $20 for 3,500 credits. And this Ghost Spider boosters and the Ghost Spider card itself, which is a great card for move decks. Like, if you are a cute girl enjoyer, dude, this week is for you. And if you're a good card enjoyer, this season is for you. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this random kind of video that I just felt like making. Hope you enjoyed it, if you play Marvel Snap, and I'll see you guys next time.